Mariachi Moscow and try our new innovative mantra saxophone, the most innovative saxophone in the world. Mantra was reviewed by Downbeat Magazine as a quantum leap in tone and design and the spiritual saxophone to Jazz Times Magazine. Last year at the NAMM show, we were one of the top 50 products of uh, the entire show. That means including uh, violins, microphones, keyboards. Uh, they gave us their, uh, their honor to be one of the top 50 products. I'll show you some features of the new mantra saxophone. It's designed to have a huge resonant sound. How we do that, besides having a completely new taper and bore to the neck, You can see a standard neck is much smaller. The bore is much bigger on the mantra saxophone. There's nothing soldered to the neck tube. So the brace is completely isolated from the neck tube, allowing it to have full freedom of vibration. The octave key pivots on cartridge ball bearings. As far as I know, it's the first saxophone ever to have ball bearings. <laughs> we have our new neck strap hook, which is designed to go at the same angle as the neck strap. The body, bow, and bell are all soldered. There's no gluing. The key arms are in line with the felts. Instead of being in the center, they're in line with the key arms. This means that on a traditional saxophone, the key will bend every time it hits the felt, but not on our saxophone. You can see the four-point belt to body brace which stabilizes the bell much better, yet has much smaller surface contact on the bell and the body of the saxophone. That allows the tubes to vibrate a lot freer, and yet the bell is also more stable. The mantra saxophone also has many adjustment screws, such as the A, the G, the key feet, all have adjustable key height, and adjustable stack screws, as well as adjustment screws for the side B and B flat. We also have uh, kangaroo skin pads, as well as Maestro Star resonators. The entire inside of the saxophone has a special reticulated finish. This finish creates a boundary layer effect inside the saxophone. So the air flows through the saxophone much like uh, water along the outside of a shark skin that allows it to glide faster through the water. Also, the same concept of the golf ball that has dimples on it, which creates the boundary layer effect such that a dimpled golf ball travels farther faster than a smooth golf ball. That's another feature of the mantra saxophone. Uh, we use a uh, very high copper content material so it gets a vintage warmth to the sound along with its its big sound so again the sound is designed to be the largest biggest most resonant and alive sound uh, in history for a saxophone but maintaining and improving the uh, ergonomics even further like a Selmer so it has the feel of a Selmer 
but an even larger and more resonant sound than, say, a, a vintage Kahn, a Busher, or Martin. I've studied uh, vintage saxophones from the 19, uh, from the turn of the 1900s to present. My goal was to design the biggest, fattest sounding saxophone uh, ever made. So we designed some of the bore concepts around a Kahn, Chewberry, and 10M. All the key work is designed more like a Selmer, though. But our neck tenon and bore is even larger than a con. So this saxophone even has a more resonant and bigger sound than even a vintage con. Because of the large bore of our neck, we had to make a new end plug. So of course we made a beautiful one to fit in. The saxophone comes with a professional quality metal Theowani mouthpiece. The first saxophone ever, as far as I know, to ever come with a truly professional metal mouthpiece. The saxophone comes with a Theowani case, which is very high quality, has a waterproof zipper and a reflective band. The saxophones come in four finishes. This is our platinum finish. Uh, we also make them in silver, black nickel, and this is our vintified finish. I hope you give them a try. We put a lot of uh, years of research and development into producing the biggest, most resonant, and alive saxophone ever made. Go to Mariachi Moscow and try one today.